you look like Rudolph. Well, Rudolph was the leader of the pack, so what does that make you? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Actually, no, this is not an addition of anything for me. I'm actually doing Slaymas with my girl, Shannon, AKA Color Me Saul, AKA Saw Life. She's actually one of my besties on YouTube and she actually asked me to collaborate with her during her Slaymas series, which she is showing a bunch of affordable units within like a 12 day span, I think. And she's touching all the price points and giving all the looks. I will put Shannon's video down below, so make sure you go and check her out and make sure you tell her a oh, while you there. Ah. Oh, while you there, hey. Tell her that Kyra Sean sent you to give her a little exposure. Okay, so you, you'll get it once you get over there. <laughs> But before we get into everything that is my look that you see right here, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. All right guys, hey. <laughs> Mm, let me get a little drinky drink. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with my makeup. A lot of you guys ask me my makeup routine. Even though I do have videos of me doing my makeup, I haven't done one since, I think, September. Okay, so first things first, I need to find my chapstick. Where art thou? Normally, I use my Vaseline, but, oh, I'm about to say she's not handy right now, but she's sitting right here in my daggone face. Come here, Coco. <laughs> On top of my lips needing to be, you know, hydrated and everything. I also gotta hydrate this face because my face does not like to hold moisture. So for the last two weeks before I prime, I have been using the Teamy Blends Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum. This is what the packaging looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not. And then this is what the jar is looking like. This is a plant-based serum. It's vegan and cruelty-free, and it's all natural, made in small batches in our Florida lab. So it's made in the US, okay? US products, baby. I'm just gonna put three pumps of that on my hand rubby rub rub and then put it on my face and then she does have like a little kickback a little oh goodness <laughs> it smells almost like like lemon tea or something like that I'm very finicky about things I put on my face because my face does not take to certain products well and I have been trying it for the last two weeks I use it in the morning and at night but after I wash my face and it has just been leaving my face feeling amazing it also has hibiscus in it mm, that sounds fancy <laughs> I will link it down below if you guys wanna check it out so you know you can do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into my brows. If you do not know, I do not do my brows on camera because it just takes too long and I feel so much pressure. Okay, I don't want, the, I don't want that pressure. I'm still using my Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. That is my jam, okay? Be back. So now I got my eyebrows all you know painted on. I'm going to prime the rest of my eye with that same concealer that I used around my eye. So I just use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in a mixture of fawn and chestnut. Everything that I use in this video will be linked down below. I'm gonna use it under my eye as well because I got these dark circles. I gotta wake up, gotta wake up. Don't wanna scare my children. And around this mustache. Gonna buff that all in using my little buffer brush from, what is this, Makeup Revolution? I mean, no, this is Real Techniques. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so I have a cream brush and a powder brush. I want y'all to get it mistaken. Like, she's using the same brush. No, Cynthia, I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place um, Nomad palette. This is kind of like my go-to palette if I just want like a basic look. So the only colors I mainly use out of this palette um, at any given time is this burnt orange shade, this dark brown shade, and this light cream shade. Sometimes I'll mix these two together depending on the base that I want on my eyes. So I think I may do that today, just kind of you know, make it stand out a little bit. Just mixy mix, and then I'm gonna put that above my crease of my eye. Do that on both sides, and this is very, very easy, you guys. There we go on that. Next up, I'm gonna take, ooh, I'm thirsty. Mm. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my other fluffy brush. Before you guys ask, it's not the same, okay? This is a 505, and then this is a 504. So I'm using the 504 to go into that dark shade just a little bit to kind of darken up that crease just a tad. I'm gonna darken that up just a little bit. This eye look takes literally like five minutes. Then I'm gonna take this angled powder brush and use that dark shade. And because it's at an angle, it's perfect placement. I'm just gonna pack that on the outer V into the crease. And this kind of starts to make the shape that I want for my eye. You guys see that shape starting, starting to pop up? And then we're gonna take a little flat, fr flat, flat, fl fl I can't even say it, a flat, fluffy brush. <laughs> But I'm gonna go in with that. I can't even hold this right. Oh. I'm gonna go in with this cream shade. I'm just gonna pack that all 
over my lid up into that crease. And I'm not taking it all the way out because obviously I want that to kind of blend together. So we'll have to go back and you know blend those two colors. So that is how the eye is looking right now. I will go back in with my angled brush to kind of just pat that back over to kind of put those two colors together. No extra product, just use what's already on the brush. Ooh, my hands are ashy. I washed my hands and now they feel all nasty. I hate that. Next up, I'm gonna go on with my foundation, my CoverGirl True Blend Matte May Foundation. Three pumps on my face. And then take my little beauty blender, it is damp, and I just blend her on in. Now I did spray my lace down on my unit, so I need to bring that back a little bit. Ooh, just to blend that in some. Okay, next up we're going to conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna go on with my um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fun. And then I'm gonna top that a little bit with Toffee. We're gonna put that right in there. Let that drop down. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I need some water. Who on YouTube? All right, so we let her dry down a little bit and now we're just going to buff her out. Perfect. Perfect. Now I'm going to go in with my translucent powder again, Laura Mercier, on my damp sponge. So I use the translucent first, a light layer in my opinion. And then I go in with my Sasha Buttercup powder in the yellow. Um, and I got this tip actually from Shannon. She's the one who told me to mix the two. Sasha Buttercup to me is a little powdery so you don't need a lot of that product. I'm also gonna cut out a little bit of my cheek here. So I just take some of the product like that. I look crazy, don't I? <laughs> So while that's sitting, I'm gonna take my contour palette by Black Radiance. This is in the medium to deep shade range. Take my little angled brush from Morphe. This is the E4 brush. I'm gonna take my a mix of contour and sculpt like that, just a little bit, and put that on my cheeks. The setting brush I used earlier, so the powder brush only, and I'm going to dust off the excess product I'm not gonna go under my eye yet because that is last. I want that to set a little bit more. I'm gonna take my, this is my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I got it from Walmart. Love how it grabs onto the product, especially powder products, and it just blends in my makeup. It just puts it all together. And then I'm gonna take my Fenty, three, uh, my Fenty, you know what, what am I saying? Not Fenty, <laughs> I am keep reading Fit Me. <laughs> my Maybelline Fit Me, um, pressed matte poreless uh, foundation. This is in 360 Mocha, okay? And then I just put that on my brush, tap, tap, and then I just blend everything in. And you don't need a lot of it. I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance um, pressed powder in the color 8619 Warm Hazelnut. And I'm just going to shape out or carve out the sides of my nose. I'm just gonna blend that into my brow and the sides of my, or the inner corners of my eye. I'm gonna brush off the rest of the product under my eye. I ran out of my Morphe spray and I ran out of my Black Radiant setting spray. So I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Finny Matte Spray. Um, I don't really like this one as much just because it's a little bit too matte for me. I'm gonna go on with my Black Radiance uh, Big Blush and Toasted Almond. Hey, Almond. <laughs> Who get that reference? Hey, Almond. <laughs> Who know where that's from? Tell me down below. Let me go ahead and put my lashes on really quick. Okay, lashes on. I'm using my Pro Fusion Highlight and Contour Palette. Got this from Tarjay. All right, so I'm gonna use the color Star Coral, which is this little corner shade over here. Pop that right in my inner corner. And this is my Beige Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray brush. This is the number seven brush that I just used on my inner corner. And I'm gonna take the number six brush from the same collection and use that same color, Star Coral, on top of my lip and then on the ball of my nose. I posted a picture on Facebook, y'all, and I posted it in a hair group. And some chick gonna try to come for me talking about some, I couldn't focus on the hair because your highlight on your nose is so bright. You look like Rudolph. <laughs> really, really? I was like, well, Rudolph was the leader of the pack, so what does that make you? Get in line, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and lead the way. Mm, nose up. Gotcha. 
and oh we're not done yet need to put my lip gloss on not gonna have me out here with the crusty mouth Ugh, i'm like digging in this daggone thing this is my second one and i'm already out again i know somebody already judging me right now she cheap why don't you just go buy another one you go buy me another one candace she went from cameron diaz to jay-z mm. <laughs> If you happen to speed through the makeup part and you just want to get to the hair then first of all welcome now you guys have seen this hair on my channel before if you have not it is a sensational what lace celeste unit i had her initially in the money piece money piece silver pretty much this unit is still the same the lace to me doesn't seem as ashy though um i said that in my Raina video that i felt like they had updated the lace on the older units as well the hair texture is just not it's not great um so in the shedding i'm getting with this one uh it's pretty normal for a colored unit. Now this unit was sent to me by Sam's Beauty, so shout out to them for sending me this unit. I'm going to use my Nairobi setting lotion. Okay, oh. We're gonna put that on the hair to try to calm it down a little bit with the flyaways. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Nairobi setting mousse around my edges. I know you lying. Where's my edge brush? Here we go. Move that around just a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of my edge booster. Um, I like using my edge booster on my wigs more than I like to use it on my hair just cause I feel like it, you, it leaves a white cast on my actual, like my natural hair. It doesn't come down all the way on both my sides. You can see right here, there's the lace for the unit kind of sticking up. Um, so she's like big hit associate. Actually, like brushing this unit, I haven't gotten as much shedding as I thought I would get. So we're gonna bring out a little bang action right here. And we're just going to smooth her up. Try to without lifting my lace. Let's find my brush. Okay, so we're just gonna wrap that with my scrunchie. You try to keep the flyaways out. And just wrap her around. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to body pin that in the back. Okay. I'm going to take some of my Nairobi wrapping lotion and put it on the front here because these are very, very frizzy. Give me some more of that Nairobi. Okay. That is how she is sitting, you guys. How do you like that? Okay. She is super, super cute, you guys. This is how she looks from the back. Let me show you real quick. Okay, she is really long. I don't remember Celeste being this long, but she is very long on me. She comes down past, um, like she's almost down to like my nether regions. Think the lace looks good. Um, in my mirror, she looks fine. Put my glasses on so I can see real quick. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, like a little bit right there. So we do got a little cast right there. Oh, look, look, look. Everything that I use in this video will be listed down below. If I have links for them, I'll put the links for them down below as well. Shout out to Sam's Beauty for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.